Hello and welcome to Ginevra's running commentary number 35. This is about tension. And what do we mean when we say somebody has tension in their singing? Well, when we look at the definition of the word, one of the main definitions of the word tension is emotional stress or strain. That is not a situation we want to bring to the attention of the singer. We don't want to make that suggestion. So even though we, we know we're referring to muscles, there's some subconscious text there that there's an emotional problem. So that's one reason why it's a word I tend to avoid. What is tension? We have activity in muscles and we need activity in muscles. Singing is a very active process. So if I'm <clears throat> singing, if I'm lifting a heavy weight, if I'm moving something around, I'm using my muscles and they will be undergoing effort. If I'm using more effort than I need, then that is unnecessary tension. And unnecessary tension, of course, will escalate into a problem because things get out of balance when we use unnecessary tension. So that's one term we can use. Another one is the definition of muscular tension is when the activity remains beyond the task. So we get into holding patterns. So that is residual tension. And when might we have residual tension in the voice? Well, for example, we may find if somebody is anxious and worried and has been using their voice a lot, they may get into holding patterns where the larynx is lifted a little bit high. The muscles that, the suspensory muscles that hold the larynx from above may become held. So that is a case when we might have tension that just sits there at a low level all the time. If somebody says they have tongue tension, they don't have residual tension because it's not there all the time. It might be there when they sing, in which case it's, it's unnecessary tension, there's too much of it, or it's misdirected attention, tension. So it's misdirected to the wrong part of the tongue. So I think we can be more particular with the way that we describe these things so that it is not alarmist or worrying, that it is just the way that we're using our voice and then we have choices to use our voice differently.